Hey all, this is Synopsis and I should have actually said that it was the Synopsis show for like the 18th of <coughs> October 2017 because yeah, you know this is just some social eating you know and I want to record uh, the income comments with Synopsis today but I might not be able to depending on you know like how long it would take and you know how long I record now and how much I want to play the a Gran Turismo thing. I didn't play the demo by the way and stuff and actually in the description I'm talking about why I haven't been able to record for a shit ton of time because you know the goal was to record Monday of last week. You know it's the 18th now. Last time I did a video or last time I uploaded something was on the 6th which was not the previous Friday but the Friday before that. And then the goal was on Monday to do an Ultimate Shaman and on the Wednesday to do Elemental. But that didn't happen because I was constipated. And yeah, that might not be a good reason, many might think, but the thing is when you have IBS, which is irritable bowel syndrome, which you know I've had for a really long time, although you know, like I found out about having it pretty, pretty late, like after I had been gone to like adult shrinks so to speak or do you call them shrinks here in Sweden? I don't know what <laughs> don't have to proceed completely <laughs> but anyway I was just trying to see if I could find a text file but yeah I'm not gonna be looking at that I need to think about that I'm actually recording the that thing here so I don't know if you can see when I go in here you know if you can see you know like how much I have on the hard drives and stuff that you know because I used to have an SSD in it, you know, because I don't need more space than that, you know. I want to eventually, you know, build my PC and, you know, I have updated some of the PC parts again. It's not final, mind you, but, you know, you know, here are some ideas. So, here was an idea of one uh, uh, computer chassis I was thinking about. Because this one looks pretty cool and as you can see, you can have different, like, Lights on it and stuff, like the purple one is fucking nice. The, the green one is actually pretty pretty fitting due to having like a racer stuff and stuff, but yeah. But I don't know. You know, that's the thing, like I want a really really good looking chassis, like I remember a store that actually sells some really really cool chassis back in the day and like having a chassis that looks cool is really really important, like there are some decent ones here, but a lot of stuff just looks fucking boring, you know, like you have a core share one which looks pretty cool, although it has a really really bad score. But sometimes you used to have people just fucking doing stupid reviews, like I couldn't fit my graphic card in it, or something like that. Wait. No room for a CD-ROM, eh? So do you have to open it then? To me it looks like you can remove these on the back and you can have like the CD-ROM on the actual back of the case. No, but as you can see there, you have room there on the front. If you look at it, you have like a screw there, so you could probably just screw a bit, you know. It looks like it's fucking no problem to have like a seed drum on the front. But people are just fucking stupid, like people who don't know how to build PCs, you know, oh, no, you can't have a seed drum with it. Yes. Someone builds a computer case which kind of fits a CD-ROM or like a DVD or a Blu-ray player in it. Yeah, 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 that's, <laughs> that's definitely something that somebody's going to do like, well, I'm going to design a case that, you know, like, that's just like a false review, you know. That white one I actually like a lot, the NXT, they actually do some pretty, pretty sweet stuff. But I don't know how well white would work. I mean, it looks pretty slick, but then, you know, like, you would have to have a white table and stuff like that, like, this thing you have to think about, like, okay, like, how, f f ooh, gigabyte. 
So is that the same Gigabyte brand that does the actual... That's actually pretty decent, you know, like... It doesn't stick out too much and it actually looks like there's a bit of a finish on it. Like this look like aluminium almost. The front there. Like I mean, you don't need something super complicated to look good. Like you can have just something being like, you know, abuse, pretty pretty basic, you know. Of course, they do actually do some pretty pretty cool stuff, but yeah. The thing is, like, do you want something like that super silent, or do you want something that looks cool? You know, that's like the main question. You like, like, are you going for looks or are you going for you know whatever you know? So computer chassis, they're all like other. What the fuck is knock? Oh, right. Those are like small boxes, <coughs> or you can have like things in it, like if I want to buy, um, like you know, but yeah. ETX. All right, those are those type of things, but don't they have like proper? Like it's just so fucking boring in tower chassis nowadays, like what the fuck happened to all the cool looking stuff that you used to have like and stuff, you know? Can you have after Yeah, Fract all the time of course. Getting really good scores. That Pantic one is getting really good. That thing looks cool though. Alright, oh, right, this was just done above shot. That's a bit misleading though. Well, I mean like... When you look at it like that, like how it is... Oops. Like how it is here. I mean it's just because it's like zoomed out there. But it looks like it's like... <laughs> like it's almost like a triangle, almost like this. Almost looks like it, but no it's not. So yeah. Yay. But there's a lot of cool things. I know that the fractal design do a lot of fucking cool stuff. Mine is a cool most action mine case that I have now. There's a lot of room in it. So we clockers have call it really good. I mean pretty simple design, you know, and stuff that like cool master is what I have, how good do they get? They get pretty decent score. Why is it showing Karlstad, of all things? Herder, because my location has changed on the PC. Herder. I don't know. You see what I have? Like I have flux here and stuff, you know. That's not exactly where it is in Kalmar, but I tried to put like my actual address and stuff there, but that wouldn't work for some reason. Oh wow! Wait, so this is one of the things that have. Yeah, this has like the slot here, but is that used to clean fans? Because that's something really good. Because some pieces, I don't know if mine actually has that, so you can just get this that power button and stuff like that. There looks actually like pretty cool. Not gonna fucking lie. Oh man, that, that case looks fucking pretty fucking swag. Not gonna lie, fucking hell. Man. But yeah, but anyway, let me go over some more things here. So, so for the process, I'm actually thinking about a cheaper one. I actually used the Ryzen 5 1600X because it's still a hexacore. It is 3.6 gigahertz and it can be like trimmed up to four for zero. It's delivered without a cooler, so I don't know, like, do you have to buy a cooler for it, or how the fuck does that work, or don't you, like, you know? That's a question, like, do you need a cooler for it, or how the fuck does that work, like, you know, like... And then there's one that's recommended for having, um, for having, like, a actual, that Omni type of ship, you know, because certain ones doesn't support certain things, you know, like, there's a lot of things you have to think about, you know, and stuff like that. And here we have like the power supply. I'm thinking about the 750. 
I actually remember one old PC that I built a long time ago. I actually put a thousand watt thing into it. Like my first PC that I ever built. Because I thought like, oh, I don't want to run out of power. So I guess I'll stick this big shit thing in it. But it was a total waste of money, by the way, because you don't need a thousand watts. Unless you're running some pretty, pretty insane stuff. But yeah, a supernova, they are really, really good. The EVGA things, really good band, here's the memories. That processor or that mother card actually have support for the really, really quick memory. Or oh, they've sold the thing out now. But they've got Corsa Vengeance, like you want really, really fast memory, you want like 3200 megahertz memory, like you want really, really quick stuff. There's probably some other memory they do have, because Corsa does really, really good memory. I mean, my USB stick that I have is Corsa. Here's the graphic card I'm thinking about. This one is super mega expensive, but I believe this is the, like the next gen card or whatever they call it. Because Radeon came out with a new card recently, or there's supposed to be a new card. So there's like something special about it. I forgot exactly what it was. Like yeah, it's. Because wasn't it that it had something special? Like that made it very special. Yeah, it says that you need a 750 thing. But how is that calculated? Like, if does this mean that this consumes 750 watts? So then you would need a thousand one. Because otherwise the process wouldn't get power. Like I'm always confused by stuff like that. Like do you just need a 750 thing to run it, you know, because yeah. I believe there was something unique with this, maybe if I read about it here somewhere. No, 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 no. Where do you have the normal link for? There we go. Uh -huh. Yeah, the Rex 12 support. And I test, I think, to stream on Twitter, YouTube. I'm the freezing crossfire. Would we are and stuff that because yeah there's some pretty expensive things here you know but yeah I'm gonna go for a cheap car but that's just because you know like if I want to build a PC again that's gonna last for a while I want a really good graphics card in it but yeah and these are like a pretty pretty good 4k actual skin because this one is actually proper 4k this is like 3840 times 2160 one millisecond oh it only has 60 hertz like if I fucking not want a 60 hertz screen again what the fuck did I select this again because 60 hertz is fucking bad like the thing is like I want something that has a lot of hertz in it you know and you know Or something like is it just that they used to exist with 60 hertz or how the fuck does that work L like is 60 hertz the only thing available like it's so hard and sometimes they don't even say oh this is just 60 hertz so this is blah 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 because the thing is I don't know why I'm getting graphical glitches on this screen for example why well, I get that sometimes, you know. And it used to happen more often before now that I always have vertical sync on. Or almost always. I get it less, but yeah. And also, yeah. Where is the sound that's gone? I'm thinking about buying maybe another micro SD thing or whatever, I don't know. Yeah. Why does it only have 60 hertz? Or oh, gaming? Do they even have one with... Is 4K here? Oh, 
alright, this is the one that I wanted to have before. Because this one is 2162, yeah, with 144 hertz. This is the thing I've been thinking about before, this Aces one. Because it looks pretty swag. And you know, very, very good quality on it, pretty much, so yeah. Because it's 144 hertz. Like, you gotta go in and change it though in the windows. You know. Oops. Don't fucking 